Hello again. I'm back with the next episode, and this episode I'll be covering levels 20 to 30 on my warrior. And I think the essence of this leveling experience is discovery. And now that I've established some boundaries in the previous 10 levels, and very clear on my restrictions and my sense of purpose, what am I doing this for? What works for me? What does not work for me? I'm doing this for growth. I'm doing this to create. I'm doing this to understand what it means to live a healthy life with myself. Now that I've established the foundation, now I get to explore a bit, discover. And I think one of the things that I found really exciting was my value over experience that I value experience over function. So for example, there were two times I decided to stay up late and be invited to dungeon running, whether it was Dead Mines from the Horde side, I am a Horde warrior, or even going to SFK and getting to Aragal and my party wiping and having three people quit. And as a level 21 warrior, as a level 21 priest, and another, another level 21 priest trying to find a full party to complete our goal, not just leaving. Like, for example, DM, when I played, uh, or it's also otherwise known as VC under uh, Van Cleef, I just wanted to discover. I wanted to swim across STV, Stranglethorn Vale, and be able to swim across uh, the little ocean there, getting into Westfall and walking into Dead Mines and doing a four-man dungeon group with level 18s, 19s, and I'm like level 21 tank. So with a decent amount of blue gear, able to run everyone through. And I didn't know what I was going to get out of it, but I was like, you know, I just want the experience. And I would really love to have the cape of the Brotherhood, a blue cape from the last boss. And to my surprise, very exciting. You know, everybody got what they wanted. The other warrior in the party got the two blue hand hammer from Smythe. I got my cape. And I thought, like, wow, what a great experience. Um, functionally, it wasn't that appropriate. Functionally, trying to wait another hour for to complete our goal with two level 21s, try and find a decent group to complete it, it was not practical. Um, but for the experience to commit, to follow through, going all the way to dead mines, completing and finding another group for like another 30 minutes or an hour to find, to complete SFK. Was not functionally, I guess, convenient, but the experience I got out of it was fantastic. And the shaman that I met in the second group of SFK that we built in order to get uh, Argal dead, he became a close friend of mine and he brought me to Nomorigan and he enchanted my items and he's offering me to, at level 60, to be part of a raid group that he's. Uh, building, organizing, and sponsoring. I'm like, holy shit. Because I stayed in SFK for the experience and committed through, I started attracting very similar people. And I'm starting to notice that even throughout World of Warcraft, a lot of things are not functionally very convenient, but they provide such a rich, diverse, and various experience. For example, a lot of the outdoor dungeons are great. I did the outdoor dungeon... Uh, in Ash, the fur, the fur bog place, I met this druid, who I, uh, I believe it was she. She was talking about the, the girls only group on Mankirk, the guild. And there's a lot of times where we pulled mobs, uh, because they're spawning so fast. And what ended up happening was we had some really cool clutch moments in terms of me switching to my tanking gear because I stand dance and able to switch my gear with um, 
my mouse scroll and she popped got into healer mode and that was really cool and then we did the escort quest with the white polar bear and also the Don Maroc uh, outdoor dungeon in uh, Taran Mill as well with all the dwarves I just got a random party together and we started camping for the main elite boss there and again it was just very adventurous just exploring these places with groups and also the mining area um, for to complete the wanted posters in Taran Mill was also really enjoyable you know just exploring those outdoor dungeons seeing people coming through and waiting for those mob spawns uh, quest mob spawns to spawn and so I completed all these adventures not knowing if this is functionally correct, but I had a great experience. I did it just for the discovery. I wanted to discover, you know, see what's out there. Let me bend and push the boundaries a bit with my time and space. And what came up for me, another challenge was not getting too caught up in the play. And when I say getting caught up in the play, it means getting caught up in what I am doing that I should do this and I need to do that or something else is acting around me and I should react back I realize my presence is more important than play that no matter what happens around me I do not compromise my presence and what's not important is my it's not my reactions but my ability to regulate my experience like for example the TBC classic got revealed, Burning Crusade, and it really pressured me. I'm like, fuck, man, oh shit, maybe I gotta level uh, my warrior faster, I gotta do this at this time, blah, blah, And then I got into the play, but I lost my presence. And then I realized, you know what, I'm not even enjoying the game that much, because it's the presence I bring to, to the present moment, the presence I bring to what I'm doing. Who I am being is what gives me the pleasure. And being able to attune to my body in this moment, my breath, all my muscles, my bones, all my senses, all of who I'm being to what I'm doing is where the juice is, is where the juice is, even with sex with my partner, even with talking to her. Even when I'm alone in my shower, it's the presence. Or when I go to a party, it's not what happens to me. You know, it's not those people who talk a lot and I have to say something or react or try to compete to try to say something back so I get my voice in. No, it's how do I maintain this presence regardless of what reactions are going on? How can I connect with that? Even including becoming a teacher assistant and now spiritual wellness is part of my life three times a week that started to get me into this is a new play this was provided some new disturbance a new interjection into my life a new interruption and but it became another challenge to how to maintain and understand the presence that i am so that's the third discovery and I think another important thing I discovered during this level uh, 20 to 30 experience was pain brings deep intimacy, especially if one allows it. And it goes in, it coincides with the presence I bring to these experiences as well. If I can be in a sense of presence. My girlfriend got her IUD, her copper IUD, and she in her first day she was in so much pain so much pain and attuning to that pain attuning to her response and just noticing my presence within that and being able to choose decide manage and find a sense of restfulness in this experience no matter how painful it is it really the pain she went through really brought us closer because I attuned her 
and not trying to change or fix her experience, but just attuning to what she's experiencing. That deep pain brought deep intimacy between us and even being in different dungeons too. The challenges I mentioned earlier, being in a four-man group for Den Mines, being left in a two-man at the end of to Argal and SFK. That pain, that difficulty, and just staying with that, not trying to change it, not trying to run away from it, not trying to manipulate the function of what could or couldn't happen, but just being closer to the experience brought deep intimacy and also deeper relationships with the people that were there, old and new. And so all in all, this level 20 to 30 experience saying, hey, you know what, I'm going to do it for the sake of discovery, for the sake of the experience. Started feeding off other experiences. And even the guy, the shaman that I met, he invited me to another group to Black Fathom Deeps. He needed to do some quests in Nomarig and Black Fathom Deeps. And I had the best loot experience in that run with him. I got my algae fist. I got the blue samurai sword. I got the blue uh, blue item chest. I got all the best warrior drops from BFD that night. And that was also another four-man group. In both Nomarig and BFD. And that challenge, that pain, I was just being with it as it is. And was focused on my presence. I was then able to receive things that I, I was totally surprised by and overjoyed. And that includes the deep sexual experience I had with my partner after the pain from receiving the IUD pass the next day. And this is something I'm taking with me. And it really supported me in the challenges in my real life once I started interacting with more people in the spiritual wellness. I visited an old friend where I used to go to this healing group. I met really challenging people who are sort of this, who are still out of this state of consciousness. They were just talking, talking, talking. And I was able to build deeper relationships with the other people who were experiencing the same thing. But I discovered more about my presence and my capacity and my capability and competency that I was available through this presence. That's what was important. <sighs> I can get religious and spiritual about this, but I will say, when I say presence, I mean my ability to self-regulate. Self-regulate my neurology, my emotional system, my uh, oxygenating system, my awareness, and getting in touch with my senses. And I wonder if that's the real fruit of any play you and I engage with, which is the quality of our presence increasing, not the quality or quantity of play that we get. Thank you for listening. And quite frankly, I'm going into the next 10 levels nervous, afraid, almost a little bored. But I realize this is the home stretch in terms of, okay, now this is leading up to the next stage where now it's about getting that gold. Actually, no. I am now tapping into my deeper sense of my presence, knowing that this is going to be more of a challenge because... I'm going to aim to getting a mount at level 40. But this challenge is just another way to get in touch with my presence. And a new aspect of it I may have not discovered yet. But yeah, there's a sense of, whew, okay, now it's becoming much more concentrated and passive. I'm tempted to want to just jump and play another alt. 
And I did dabble a little bit, played Druid to like level 3. But this is the home stretch now. And I'm going in the next 10 levels a little afraid. But also I'm like, okay, this is the commitment. This is where the juice is. And it's really asking more from me. And finally, I think the cool part is that shaman that I met, because through that SFK experience, not only did he invite me to BFT and I got that wonderful loot table, he had a higher level mage that helped me do the whirlwind axe quest, and now I am level 32. And arrived at level 30 with a whirlwind axe because he helped me uh, go through that quest chain. So, the next 10 levels are really about, you know, it's going to be a whirlwind. How do I move through? How do I find my razor's edge? A straight edge through that whirlwind. Thank you for listening, and I'll catch you guys later.